Howdy champs! My name is Mohit and people today uh, I'm gonna show you an animated menu bar. I'm gonna straight away start off with the browser preview people. So you see this uh, animated uh, chocolatey biscuity menu bar. I've used a lot of CSS3 out here. I've used multiple box shadows people. Yes, you'll be surprised to know that these, you know, the twin colors that you actually see, the top and the bottom color, the top and the bottom layers, the brownish layers are actually nothing but inset box shadows. And then along with the, the box shadows, I've actually used the transition effect I'm, and I've set it at 0.5 uh, seconds, half a second, 500 milliseconds. And that's all that is there too the uh, menu bar. It's actually very simple to create but it took me a long time to um, to do the uh, trial and error and come up with this. It, it probably is too dramatic, may not uh, suit your taste buds, you decide people. But nevertheless, uh, even if you wouldn't want to implement uh, something so dramatic, you'll learn a lot of CSS 3 especially after you watch the second and the last part too along with the first part which is simply a bird's eye view people I'm not gonna take you through the explanation in the first part it's the first part as uh, most of my uh, tutorials will always belong to the uh, the browser preview and a bird's eye view of the code that's it alright so you see uh, I've used the uh, transition CSS3 property out here uh, the transition property works in almost all the contemporary modern browsers people. For old browsers you might need to use dash webkit dash dash or dash dash moz dash and dash ms dash vendor prefixes. You please check on that and uh, implement it if needed. But I haven't used it for simplicity's sake because I actually didn't need to. All my browsers are actually upgraded and quite clearly out here I've used uh, box shadow and multiple box shadows comma separated yes that's possible so we have the saddle brown color and the chocolate color these were the two colors you see the top and the bottom color right one goes up in this direction and the other goes down one goes up and one goes down in different directions one's coming from the top and the other one is arising up from the bottom you see if I were to uh, momentarily remove the transition property and take up a browser preview let's see how things look like right now yeah so basically you just see the twin uh, box shadows that's all and uh, all I've done is I've just used the transition property and uh, quite clearly this is the uh, and uh, quite clearly it looks quite nice you see and this is the and you know the transition duration which obviously you can manipulate I've set it at half a second you can even uh, change these colors saddle brown chocolate is what uh, suited me you decide what you would actually want I've also kept the menu bar uh, quite wide and tall with big fonts simply and so that you know you'll you'll get a, a very good view uh, while you're actually viewing this tutorial just for the browser preview that's all people right so this is where I'm gonna uh, terminate the first part uh, which uh, <coughs> actually just showed you the preview and uh, yep uh, before I terminate, let me quickly show you the HTML inside the opening and the closing body tags. We have a division which in turn contains uh, opening closing UL tags and which in turn has four LI items which again in turn have anchor tags, home about us, products, contact us, different links yep so that's all not too much of a code people and not too difficult to understand as you will uh, find out in the last and the final part I'm sure you'll join me there won't you have a good day bye bye peace